This video shows you how you can quickly increase your pull-ups without spending hours in the gym. So let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? My name is Mark and welcome to the channel. This channel is all about helping you reach your training goals smarter and faster. And this video is no different. I have three pull-up techniques which will quickly increase your total number within a matter of weeks. This type of information is useful for general fitness, back and shoulder strength, and any time you want to increase your number of pull-ups for test or competitions. These techniques work so well that I tripled my own reps from 8 to 24 in only three weeks. It all starts with understanding that there are three types of muscle contractions in every movement. These muscle contractions are concentric, eccentric, and isometric, but I don't want you to get caught up in the terms and definitions. I want you to instead think about acceleration, deceleration, and static holds. All muscle movements during training will have an accelerated portion, a decelerated portion, and a static hold portion. I want to leave here, I want you to leave here with something very important. Acceleration, deceleration, and static holds apply to every movement and not just pull-ups. So what you're trying to do here is you're not actually building more strength. Instead, you are becoming more efficient at the particular movement that is being practiced. In our case right now, it's becoming more efficient at pull-ups. I hope that makes sense. Yes, you will gain strength by doing more pull-ups, but becoming more efficient at the movement problem at the movement patterns is properly expressing your strength that you already have. So this is why you can quickly triple your number because what you already have in your body is now being able to be showcased. So by training the muscle movements and patterns, your true strength will be more easily and more readily displayed. I hope that makes sense. If not, I'm here to answer your questions. So let's learn some techniques that will truly express your strength. Let's start with using the acceleration portion of the pull-up. So when practicing doing a pull-up, I want you to practice accelerating up and over the bar as quickly as possible. A great exercise to practice this is to pull your knees to your chest as you were doing a normal pull-up. As you grab the bar, you're going to quickly realize that you will propel yourself over the bar in extreme acceleration. This type of movement will work on efficiency in the acceleration portion of the pull-up. The deceleration portion can be done in two simple ways. The first way is what most people call a negative. You're going to pull yourself up and over the bar, and then you're going to count three, four, or five seconds, or however long it's comfortable for you. But remember that you should work in a full range of motion. So be sure that to work at the very bottom of your pull-up motion as well as the top. The second drill you can do, use for deceleration is to pull yourself halfway up the bar and then down very fast into a dead hang and then bounce up as quickly as you can. This is going to work on your ability to decelerate at the bottom of the motion and have the ability to use your stretch reflex to be able to pop over the bar. The last drill you're going to do for isometric or static holds is use best at where your sticking points are. So as you do a pull up to the bar and things are getting really tough, that's where your sticking point is. And that is where I want you to begin to strengthen. In order to do this, you just need to simply hold that position where you typically get stuck for as long as possible. What's important to note here is that just because you are doing a static hold in one particular position, it doesn't mean that your efforts do not carry over to the entire pull up motion. See, what you're creating here is an immense time under tension. By doing this, you are training your body to create tension for a certain amount of time. So if you're trying to increase the amount of pull-ups, you need to teach your body to keep tension for the amount of time needed to complete your new goal. For example, let's say you can do five pull-ups and it takes you 10 seconds, but your goal is to do 15. You're gonna to have to teach your body to hang on the bar for a lot longer than seven seconds. And this is the one of the main points where so many people struggle with pull-ups and other exercises. They never actually practice the amount of time it takes them to complete what their new goal is going to be. Some additional exercises that will help with creating time under tension for pull-ups is doing toes to bar or simply just hanging on the bar as long as you can. These exercises will create the necessary time under tension needed to teach your muscles the proper endurance that they need in order for you to do more pull-ups. All right, pro tip. This tip come, that I'm gonna leave you with today is a very crucial one that I learned from a former Navy special operator. He told me that when you start burning out on pull-ups, if you just change your grip slightly, moving from wider or to more narrow, you're going to use a slightly different muscles in order to give yourself, to get yourself over the bar. So by alternating grips close to your burnout, you could end up doing as many as five or six more depending on your fitness level. So get out and get after it. And until next time, I'll see you later.